excited because today Gina's going to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious, let me repeat, delicious vegan macaroni. This macaroni is really easy to make and I'm going to show you how when I come back. Here's the ingredients you're going to need. You will need some plant-based butter. So this is the type of plant-based butter that I like to use here at the Young's house. You will need some cheese. Now, when you use your cheese, when you pick out your cheese, I suggest that you get two bags of the cheddar style. This is plant-based non-dairy. And also you're going to need one bag of the mozzarella that we have here. You will need this here. Here's our noodles. This is a gluten-free chickpea elbow pasta. You're gonna also need, let me bring it to you, silk. It doesn't have to be silk. Just make sure it's dairy-free and that it is plain yogurt, okay? And then we have a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. Right here we have parsley flakes just to make everything nice and pretty. Garlic powder, paprika, we have salt-free Mrs. Dash original, and then we also have the Bragg's nutritional yeast. Make sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Gina style. Talk about this chickpea pasta here. It's beautiful and it tastes delicious, but there is one catch to it. You cannot overcook this pasta. You can overcook it, but what I'm saying is I don't want you to overcook it. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to boil your water, salt your water if needed, only if needed, okay? And you're going to cook your pasta for six minutes. You wanna make sure that you stir it a couple times. Don't cook the pasta any more than six minutes because this here will become a mushy mess, all right? We all know how to set a timer. Six minutes is all you're gonna need for this chickpea pasta. I hope y'all are having a great day today. I read the comments. I read the comments just like I said. I wanted everybody to message me and let me know what type of recipes that you are looking for that Gina could turn it into a healthy recipe. And I saw a whole lot of baked macaroni. Well, here we are. We're here in the flesh and we're making baked macaroni. And just because it is vegan doesn't mean that it's not tasty. This recipe is tasty and you're gonna see when you make it. So now, since I don't have the sticks of butter, I, I would prefer to have the stick of butter of this plant-based butter, but I'm gonna try to kind of see, I, I'd say that's about a stick. <laughs> I would, I'd say that's about a stick. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get this nice and warmed up, hot and bubbly, and then we'll proceed with making this easy cheese sauce that is so tasty. So now that my butter is nice and melty, we have our beautiful yogurt here. Plain, make sure it's plain, make sure it's not vanilla flavor, it has to be plain, okay? And so this here is a 24 ounce, we're gonna use 12 ounces, but I feel like I would rather use maybe 14 ounces, okay? So we're gonna use half of that plus a little bit more to make the 14 ounces, okay? Beautiful there. Let's mix in the butter and the yogurt just like so together. This sauce comes together so quick and simple. All right, just like so beautiful, let's mix the two together. And right away, we're gonna again begin to season garlic powder. You can never have enough garlic powder. We're gonna go in real heavy with the Mrs. Dash. This Mrs. Dash is salt free, all right? And we're gonna put some paprika. And we're also going to put our nutritional yeast. The nutritional yeast is gonna really help to make the cheesy, <laughs> so to speak, and the cheese as well. You see, I put a nice amount in there because you need a nice amount. Okay, so let's mix those ingredients together. And then the next thing we're gonna think about is go ahead, get your cheeses open. This one here, it's gonna be for the top of the macaroni. This one here is going in our sauce, as well as this mozzarella. Come in and look at this, and it smells so good right now. Ooh, yes, I wish you all were here to smell this. Look at the sauce coming together. Now, um, let's go ahead, put our cheeses in. 
All right, I tasted this. It tastes so good. It tastes so good and I suggest you taste it too. You wanna taste it. So you know, um, if you need any more seasoning, you may taste it and say, ah, oh, you know what, Gina? I need a little bit more of the Mrs. Dash. And if that's the case, then you re-season. I don't want you ever to be afraid to season. That's where a lot of people mess up. They're afraid to season, and then the food is flavorless, right? Don't be afraid to season. You use that seasoning so it tastes good, all right? We're going in with the cheese, just like so, a whole packet. I believe this is an eight ounce bag. Yes, it is. And so we're going in with that, and then we're going in with the eight ounce mozzarella. Look at that. And wham, bam, you have vegan cheese sauce. Look how pretty. Let me get this cheese, that cheese jumping right out. All right, so at this point, what you can do, go ahead and turn the burner on to low. Oh my goodness. If at any time you feel like your cheese sauce, let's just say you think it's too thick, go ahead and put just some more of your yogurt into the sauce here. I put a little bit more yogurt in mine to thin the sauce out. Now, let's go ahead at this point, go ahead and turn the burner off. Turn that burner off. I gotta taste it for you all. Mmm, I gotta taste it for seasoning. So much flavor in there. You want to taste? Sure. Okay. Let me know what you think. What you think? Let me know. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God, he said that's so good. Okay, this is great. This is great. Let's go ahead and take our cheese sauce. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. You didn't miss nothing. Throw all your cheese sauce in. You bet. We're making big macaroni. All right, don't skip on the cheese sauce. Here's what we're gonna do, mix those noodles in one thing. Like I said, don't you dare overcook those noodles. Now, you could eat this like this if you wanted to, if you wanted to and you just can't wait. But guess what we're gonna do? We're throwing it in the oven, 350 degrees after we get this nice and mixed up. We're gonna take some more of that beautiful cheddar. It's gonna go on top. We're gonna put some paprika right on top, maybe some parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty into the oven and let's let it bake get hot and bubbly take a look at that put your cheese on top as much or as least as you like don't cover this with foil it don't need to be covered okay don't you cover it with foil we're basically wanting everything to get real nice hot and bubbly right and melty and kind of cohesive together if that made any sense <laughs> but you know what i mean we want it to stick together right just like so help Beautiful. I want a little bit more cheese right there, <laughs> right here, and right there. Parsley flakes, because you got to make everything you make beautiful, right? When it looks beautiful, mm, 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 look out. All right, so there we go. A little bit of paprika ain't never hurt nobody. Look at that. Let's get this baby into the oven. And when I come back, you're going to taste it. Take a look at it, y'all. <laughs> Take a look. A good 20 to 25 minutes. Everything is nice, beautiful, and set. And I have to be honest, it smells so good in here. Listen here, everybody. If you enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the whole world about Gina, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Okay? So now, we're going to dive in when I come back. Now, here's what I need from you all. I need from you all to get in this comment section underneath this here video. Tell me everything that you are looking for so Gina can make it, all right? Tell me what healthy recipe you're looking for, what recipe you would like to see be made by Gina, made into a healthy recipe that's delicious, all right? And when you see me respond to you in the comments, just know that I have written down your request and it is going on to a to-do list. All right, let's dive in. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be more excited this right here. Oh, <laughs> yep, we all love that crunchity, crunchity, crunchity edge, right? That's what I want. I hope y'all can hear that. It's a beautiful crunchy edge. Now, now, now. <laughs> Don't let your eyes deceive you. Ooh, wait, don't let your eyes deceive you. Look at that. This 
is what you call, I want more. <laughs> That's what you call baked macaroni. That's what you're looking for. That's what I'm gonna bring to you all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta grab a fork. I'm ready to dive in. Take a look at the inside. Come on in, come on in. Can you see it? Can you see it? That right there is creamy. It's dreamy, it's packed with so much flavor. I'm gonna grab a fork and we're gonna, we're gonna taste it together. Come on, I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you the first. Now, it is hot. It is hot. All right, let's blow it off. Mm, mm, mm. You can't tell me nothing. Mm, 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 mm. So much amazing flavor. This was so quick and simple. Mmm. 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 I'm going in for more. I know. The flavor is great. God bless. Good night.